Welcome. Today I'm going to show you the greeting card I made for my dad. It's a Father's Day card and you can make this also for Mother's Day or for any other occasion for a card lover in your life. I started by dealing a hand with one card for each letter that I was going to be writing. So for my father, I call him dad and I dealt three cards, one for a D, one for an A, and one for a D. After tracing around the whole stack of cards, I made sure that I carefully traced around each card and cleaned it up a little bit. Instead of numbers for each card, I chose a letter, so I spelled out the word dad. If there is a certain card lover that has a certain hand they love to have, you could always put the numbers and the suits of the hand that they like, and then you could still write the letters on the middle of each card. One thing that I wanted to remember is that every card has a number right side up on the top and a number upside down on the bottom. So I chose to put the DAD for dad across the top and then the one card that has the little end showing, I made sure I had an upside down D there. I made all of my cards in the suit of hearts um, just for love, but you could use any suit. I wanted to make the letters in the middle nice and big and bold. So I basically just wrote dad and then I made thick lines around the letters and filled in the space. There at the edge of the A in the middle, I wanted to make sure I didn't overlap where the card was. And you can see I'll make a little adjustment of that at the end. One of the most important things of this card to me was getting everything in the right place so it was the right proportions. Now I traced around my cards with a little pencil and I thought about tracing around it with a marker as well and I thought well maybe I don't want to get marker on my cards. So if you want to get your card lines just perfectly straight you might consider just tracing around your cards to begin with. Now my lines felt a little wobbly to me and I also thought they could use a little bit more thickness. So I went back and I started trying to straighten them out a little and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to use those cards and I'm going to trace around the cards. And once I did that, I was able to thicken up the line and make it a lot more smooth and I really liked it much better once it was more consistent. Another thing you might consider is how steady your hand is. My hands are not that steady and it is very difficult for me to make a straight line. And so if you do have a hand that's not as stable, you can always use the card just as a stabilizer too. So that will help straighten your lines that way as well. Although I started with a very thin line, going over it and adjusting the card a little made it so that it was a thicker, bolder line. And by the time I got done with all of this adjusting, I really liked the way it looked because it made it much easier to see from across the room. So often when I'm working close up with something, all the details show up pretty well, but when looked at from farther away or my dad is in his late 70s and his eyesight isn't quite as good and so it's also easier for him to see this way. I think you could get a similar look if you went with a thicker pen like maybe the standard Sharpie. But if you were to do that, you would also get more marker on your cards as well. At the end here, I went back and I touched up that A so that it did look like it went all the way underneath the other card. And if you had a hand with quite a few letters, like if you were spelling out something a little longer, you might have several you'd want to do that with. After the work I did to straighten up those lines and make them nice and bold, I just used a little eraser and one final touch up and it's ready for me to write a note for my dad. If you like videos that have little doodles or show how to make greeting cards or bullet journals, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'm your Doodle Dragon. See you next time.